Kim's. Welcome to the third and final video in our series on the basics of Blazy Z. In this one, we're going to cover OCR, which is one of the most unique and sought after features of the Blazy Z. We're going to do OCR in two ways. We'll do it with the OCR stand and without the OCR stand. I have here a menu from one of our conferences, and I'm going to try and OCR that without the stand. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can manually center it on the page, remembering that in this position, the camera is pointed to the left and you want to center the camera, which means you're gonna to wanna to offset the blaze a little bit, and then try to lift straight up. That I find extremely challenging, the whole lifting straight up part. So um, the way that I prefer to do it is to place my elbows on either side of the material and then basically try to hold it as steady as I can. And I'm probably not going to be completely centered, but I'm hoping to be as, as good as possible. This is about the right height. Um, it's about the same height as the OCR stand. And you generally wanna try to be about a, a foot above the material and be as centralized as you can be. So now I'll press the OCR button. Take a picture. And it placed me in the OCR menu on Take a Picture, so I'm gonna press the OCR button again. OCR analysis. And it took the picture, and now it's analyzing. And when it finishes, it will automatically begin to read the text aloud, and hopefully it OCR will OCR analysis sense. completed. Cheese. Stuffed chicken, $16.49. Armanata chicken breast stuffed with artichoke hearts and creamy spinach, sun-dried tomatoes and drizzled with lemon butter. Dash 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 dash. Chicken tenders $12.29. Blue fried chicken tenderloins with cream gravy. Chicken fried chicken $12.99. So as you can see, it actually did a very, very good scan of this menu, even just me using my arm. But you can increase your accuracy even more by using the OCR stand. This allows you to ensure that you do know the exact placement of the Blazy Z because it goes in this nice little tray right here. And you can, you don't have to guess about it. Everything is right where it should be. You simply line up the page that you want to scan with this little guide down here. And the other thing that you can do even to increase your accuracy even more and the stability of the camera is to connect this little remote. This little remote has a cable with two micro USB ends. You plug one end into the remote and you plug the other end into the micro USB port on the bottom of Blaze EZ. And I'm going to try to center it on the guide and get it as flush to the side as possible. And again, I can either press the OCR button on the Blaze EZ or I can press the button on the remote. OCR analysis. OCR analysis completed. Types of graphs featured in this book continued. Circle graphs, circle graphs, sometimes called pie charts, are used when data indicates a comparison of parts to a whole. The circle graphs in this book are appropriate for grades 3 6. Stem and leaf plot in a stem and leaf plot. The numerical data is organized so that the numbers themselves make the display. The stem and leaf plots in this book are appropriate for grades 4 6. Histogram, histogram. And again, this was really a near perfect scan. I actually found no inaccuracies or no problems in that reading. So this does very, very well at scanning material, but the secret to that is your alignment, your alignment and your lighting. So you want to make sure to have good lighting and you want to make sure to raise the camera about a foot above the material and have it as centralized and steady as possible. Of course, if your material is smaller, you'll lower it more towards the page. But again, you wanna make sure that the camera is centered above the text and that you keep it as still as possible. And the OCR stand really ensures that you're able to do that. As you can see, OCR is very convenient whether you're using it on your desktop or on the go. And it really brings printed material to you in a way that you haven't experienced before. 
So that completes our series on Blaze Easy Basics. Thanks for watching. Thank you.